think parts. it's all about. I mean, it's it is sad to watch someone who we saw at the top of their prime or at the top of their career, and then just slowly over the years fall to what looks like, I mean, rock bottom. And I say that because he can't even. I mean, he came to address the video with his teeth falling out, but it still sounded like he couldn't even afford his teeth or something. And so all, all I can it, think is veneers. He should have got veneers. Why, why does he have veneers? He said that he had veneers. Every 20 years, you have to get them redone. So that's why he had his grill in. That's what the video says. So I took from that, he can't afford to get them redone because it's uh, been 20 years. I don't know. Uh, this story is nothing new. It's something we've been watching for years. Actually, I'm sure anybody who pay attention to it. But uh, Dame Dash has, you know, had legal troubles for years right now. And he's not making it any better in the public. I believe 50 Cent was, was asked about his first contract with Shady Records. And he said that it was, he signed for a million dollars after taxes, he got a, a million dollars. And he said the only person that, that spoke on a million negatively was Dame by saying that a million dollars ain't nothing and Dame don't got a million dollars right now. Of course, we know he's trying to sell his 33% of Rockefeller Records, which owns Reasonable Doubt, Jay's first album. And it don't look like this moving. And if it does, he's not going to get any of the proceeds because he owes the state of New York 8.7 million. That's nothing to do with the child support that he owes. So the downfall of Dame Dash, Teeth fell out. Every everything. What what you think about it? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Not because I'm laughing at someone who or trying to make fun of someone because their teeth came out. You know, at a time that or or trying to kick somebody while they're down. This but, gotta be a down moment for Dan. Well, it's definitely a down moment. But he created it. Why did you even go? So Fifty stated facts. These are facts. Obviously, it was a memorable moment for Fifty Cent because. You know, I mean, he remember it, but I feel like maybe it was good for 50 for him to remember it because 50 made sure that he have millions now. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I guess they ain't felt the way because 50 said this. And now you want to try to go and speak on this man and address it. And it's funny to me because he, you is trying to speak on me and your teeth fall out. <laughs> your teeth fall out. So, yeah, I think that's funny and hilarious because don't speak on me about about the truth that I'm giving out. And then you ain't even got room to speak. Yeah, I bet you do want 50 to call you. I bet you do want 50 to reach out to you because you need him. I mean, they net worth is less than 100,000 mm. today, 2024. Man, and so this this just really that's not a whole lot of cash right there, but I don't know if Fifty responded to that yet. I'm sure he has. I'm sure he will. He's the troll king. He posted a video. He did post a video, but he ain't really addressed it. He he reposted Dame video of him his teeth falling out, and then he promoted his new book that he has coming out, <laughs> basically showing that he's still making millions. I mean, that's how I took it. Like you you can't even talk. Literally, your teeth fell out. I'm making millions. That's what I got from the video. Yeah, it, <laughs> it was crazy. Say he has a, also has a, a lawsuit from a movie for eight hundred thousand, and he tried to. He, he's also trying to sell his chains, his original Rockefeller chains, and they're saying that any if if the thirty three percent of Rockefeller that he owns right now sells for anything less than ten million, that he won't even see any of it. Like, like it's, you know, he he already in the hole. So it's it's just crazy to me to watch a mogul because mm -hmm. to me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm 40. And he was, I, I remember when he was at the top of rap, you know, as far as being a mogul, you know, we looked at him like a, a, a young puff. I mean, we at the time we did. And, uh, you know, just to watch this fall the last few years and, you know, to watch it be, him be so inconsistent in his actual business endeavors. You know, I'm trying to learn how to be a businessman. And one thing I'm learning is, is you're going to have to be consistent in something. You're going to have to, uh, and, and persistent in something. You know, was, I thought he had a YouTube channel, quit that. I think he got a network. You know, I think he tried to sell children's books. It, it don't seem like the lady that he picked, uh, no, no shade to any ladies. It just don't seem like the lady he picked to be with him. And, you know, uh, to me, a baby can't, 
benefit you this late in life. <laughs> I just it's think crazy. it's all about, I mean, it's, it is sad to watch someone who we saw at the top of their prime or at the top of their career and then just slowly over the years fall to what looks like, I mean, rock bottom. And I say that because he can't even, I mean, he came to address the video with his teeth falling out, but it still sounded like he couldn't even afford his teeth or something. And so all, all I can think is veneers. He should have got veneers. Why, why does he have veneers? He said that he had veneers. Every 20 years, you have to get them redone. So that's why he had his grill in. That's what the video says. So I took from that, he can't afford to get them redone because it's uh, been 20 years. I don't know. But either way, it is a sad situation to see somebody fall. And I hope he do get himself back up. But however, be careful on the people you speak on and have the right mindset. Because clearly, mm -hmm. you know, thinking, oh, that ain't no money and you blowing through it or you thinking all this stuff. Like, it's all about about mindset. I I remember seeing, I think, a quote that maybe your uncle said, the difference between the rich man and the poor man is mindset. So, you know, mm. and clearly this is a perfect example. The, the difference between these two people is their mindset. And if Jay seen to the, the years ago that, that he needed to separate, make that separation from Dame Dash as far as business acumen and professionalism, because it was a, a place, it, obviously we see where Jay's at now. And so he was trying to get there back then and he wasn't going to be able to get there with this type of person. With, I mean, we see the man drinking the, the joint every day, you know what I'm saying, whatever, in his cup, you know. I, none to, I like a little shot here and I need to, I like to get a little, you know. All I'm saying is he, he, Dame, some people you have to cut out your life. Mm. And Dame Dash mindset, if you ever just listen to him talk and I mean, the fact that he was angry that 50 said truth and wanted to address it or beg for help. It depends on how you want to look at the video that he didn't get a chance to beg for because his teeth fell out. But either way, clearly you have to cut them type of people off. His mindset, I don't have to know him personally. All you have to do is listen to him, watch people. When people show you who they are, you believe him. And he's shown us that his mindset, his character, and the, and the way that he is is just not profit, profitable, profitable or right. beneficial to anyone around yeah. him. But he, but he, he does have a wealth of knowledge. And about the industry, I mean, he he, he yeah. is a very intelligent person and quick witted guy. I just don't understand why he can't just you know pull it together. But anyway, the downfall of Dame Dash. Hope he get it together. Yeah.